have to admit, these are a really nice cut. I tell you what, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, hope you had a fantastic week. And this week, we're going to be looking at some hand tools straight from Milwaukee. They sent me these to give them a go, basically, and show you guys what they have to offer. Uh, what we have are some linesman pliers. Got some smaller strippers. And these ones I'm really excited for. These are the 7-in-1 Easy Cuts. Uh, these are basically strippers slash pliers. And if you don't know, in Australia, we don't really utilize strippers too much, at least as sparkies. Uh, we pretty much full-time combination pliers or linesman pliers. Almost everyone I know doesn't even own a pair of these. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these cut, how these twist, and whether I can use these full-time as a sparky in Australia. All right, so. As you can see, you've got the crimper and the fish tape uh, grabber. Nothing too flash, really. $36 though, not too bad. It's actually not a uh, bad price, especially when it comes to Milwaukee tools. We'll open this up. We'll see if we can uh, get this out. All right, there we go. So, out of the packet. Very stiff. So I don't know about you guys, but that's always the first test for me. I like a pair of pliers that'll drop by itself. Sometimes they need a little bit of massaging, which is fine, I guess. Um, but a lot of the other brands don't really require that. These are, these are actually quite stiff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes in the long run. I will oil them up tonight and we'll see if we can loosen these up. But they're fairly heavy. They're two, or roughly 245 mil long. Almost, maybe like 242, 243. So they are fairly large. So for you guys that like a light pair of pliers, these might not be the pair, but if that doesn't worry you, then uh, yeah, look away. So as you can see, they are not insulated. And I will warn you guys that these are not VDE. They are not 1000 volt rated, so just be mindful of that if you're out in the field and you might be cutting live wires, these aren't the pair for you. So I have got a bit of cable here. This is just 2.5 TPS, twin and earth. So we'll give it a cut. Being so large, I mean, being so long and a lot of the weight on the end, I'm actually struggling. I'm not used to 240 mil long. I'm used to sort of between the 200s and 220. So it feels a little bit funny and the fact that it's not opening, it's not the greatest, so it's a pretty decent cut, that's for sure. Like, they are high leverage. So for you guys out there that don't know, the high leverage pliers usually have a longer handle, gives you that extra leverage. And like, that's, that's a breeze, really, so. But if I was to strip, we'll give it a go. It's just awkward, but obviously that's got to, uh, I've got to get used to that, so. I don't think I could use these as an everyday pair of pliers. I think they're just too heavy. Maybe once they loosen up, you can just feel it in your hand. Especially trying to open and close it. I don't know how you guys do it, but that's pretty much how I do it. So like obviously you can use it, but they're not bad. So we'll give it a go on a bit of, uh, I think that's 12 mil. So this is where it should be a lot better. And that is a breeze actually, that is quite good. If they stay that sharp, That'd be brilliant. So they're definitely good for your higher leverage stuff, which I guess would be handy to have around. So I guess if I was to utilize these out in the field for 36 bucks, it may be worth getting a pair just for those high leverage cuts, especially when it comes to cat wire. A lot of you guys are cringing right now. You don't like cutting cat wire with your pliers. And obviously you're not gonna spend a hundred bucks on a pair of good pliers for fitting off and then cut cat wire. For that job, these might come in handy. 
they definitely uh, do it pretty well. So I would like to try it on a bit of gripple for those guys that know gripple, that can be a lot harder to cut and you don't want to be using your good pair of pliers on those. So for these, they're very good. So you might even use them for cutting normal screws. So a lot of you guys will use your pliers or your side cutters for them. The strippers that I'll show you next do have a cutting mechanism for this, but we'll see if I can do it one-handed. A little bit hard. It does get through it. So once again, if you don't want to be using your, oh, there you go, if you hold them closer down, as you can see, it's actually quite easy with these. So that's good to know. That's actually really good to know. So yeah, I guess I'll throw these into the kit and see if I utilize them out in the field. So the next ones we'll be looking up are these little strippers with a few little extra bits and pieces. You can see it's got the wire strippers, wire cutter, loop maker. I don't know anyone that would use that, but uh, I guess that's up to you guys. And the bolt cutter. I have always wanted to use them. I don't have any pliers that have the bolt cutters on them. So this will be very interesting. So that's them in the hand, nice and small. So these are only 185, 185 mil. The handle's actually quite comfy. Got the lock there. Got the spring loaded, obviously. And you've got your bolt cutters there, which is quite handy. So for you guys that don't know, bolt cutters are there. So these are literally something we don't use in Australia. We all just cut screws like this. This is from a GPO. All you Aussies will know what that's from. And what you do, this, this is the first time, so. So just bear with me, guys. Supposedly, you screw that in. Seems like a lot of work, but I'm hoping it's a clean cut. So you get it down to the size you want. All right, so, never done this before. Have I done it right? I'm presuming. Do I, do I hold this? Should you wear glasses? Actually, that's really easy. All right, there you go. So then you unscrew it. Let's uh, unscrew this. So you don't have to hold this end for, for those that haven't done this before. And it looks fairly clean, if you guys can see that. So for this one, I just grabbed a bit of, uh, what's that, 2.5 SDI. Just a bit of single for you guys that don't know what SDI is. Single double insulated. Oh, okay. So they're really sharp, really nice. I actually really like that cut. So that's uh, 3.2 mil twin, and that's that's like butter, guys. I have to admit, these are a really nice. Cut. Obviously, I haven't used a pair of these before for cutting any cable. But that, that's a breeze. I wonder, can I strip? Ooh, yeah, that's something to get used to. But man, they are sharp. Wow, that was just using the blades. Hopefully you can see that. Wow, that's, that, that's fascinating, guys. We'll see if we can uh, strip that a little bit nicer. Oh, I'm still nicking that side. But I tell you what, this, that, so this isn't even using the actual uh, stripping bits, it's just that, the actual blade, that, that's super nice. Maybe, I don't know if you guys ream it first. That wasn't so good. Maybe a bit too much pressure. But that comes off super nice, and that. Just making a mess here, really nice. So let's see, if I just go the 2.5, let's do that. Actually, I should be using that, shouldn't I? So, is this gauge, guys? I'm presuming this, these aren't done for uh, Australia. Is that 10 gauge, what's that, stranded? Stranded and solid, no idea. But if we throw it in there, that's really nice. I could get used to this. Yeah, super easy, super easy. All the Aussies are gonna hate me. 
Now, I'm really excited about these. Uh, tell me what you think so far, guys. Are you someone that actually uses strippers? I would love to see more Aussies that are using the strippers. I've talked to maybe one or two, but not a lot at all. So I would love to know who else is using them and what brands are you using? All right, so let's open her up. These feel really nice. That's, that's definitely something. Actually, I'll quickly show you that. What we have, we've got a reamer, so won't be using that too much. We don't really use steel conduit here, um, but it might come in handy even with uh, PVC, we'll see. You've got the bolt cutter, same sort of thing, so that might even be better. Surely it's better on these ones. And then you've got the wire cutter, obviously, wire strippers. You've got the loop maker, won't really use that. Wide jaw pliers, that is something I'm really looking forward to using. And the crimper, obviously, so We'll give them a go, just a quick uh, length check. These are two, almost 230. So these are, that, that's probably why they feel good. Because the 220s or the 230s are what I use at the moment. These are spring loaded. They feel really nice. I think the spring could be a little bit stronger, but that may be coming from the last pair of strippers. First cut. Tell you what, guys. So for those that haven't used these, but are using marvels or any sort of cross cut, they're very comparable, obviously, because these are like a cross cut. I'll have to compare them to my cross cuts, that's for sure. But that's a very nice cut. The blade has a lot of room as well, so even if you're off by a little bit, um, some pliers have a smaller sort of width when it comes to the blade, but it's got a very nice width on that. All right, so let's see. Yeah, they're very much like cross cuts. As you can see, I just try to cut them, but I think they're just super, super sharp. So if we give this another go, you can hear that cut. As long as these stay sharp, that's my main worry in the long run. Um, and I will tell you that these run for about $60. So you are looking at sort of like the mid range, mid to high end range of pliers here in Australia. You do get a little bit more for your buck. These aren't VDE though. So just be mindful of that. So if I go lighter, there we go. Oh, I went really light that time. These might take a little bit to get used to, but I'm still doing the same thing with the cross cuts. I actually don't think I've shared them on here. Every time, every time. Here we go, that's, that's getting closer. So then obviously, what have we got around there? Not those ones. So does that mean this is uh, 12 gauge stranded for you guys that are using gauge wire? We only use millimeters. Here we uh, measure all our cables in millimeters, millimeters squared. So I have no idea. So let me know what size 2.5 is, or is that what that means? 12 mil stranded. I'm presuming that means uh, 10, or well, not 12 mil, 12 gauge stranded, 10 gauge solid. Is that right? Let me know. It is quite nice, guys. It really is. I'll probably have to do a comparison later on. So let me know what pairs of pliers I should compare them to. There you go, that was a clean cut. Really nice, actually. So we'll give this a go once again. Seems like a little bit of effort, really. Usually I just cut them with my pliers, with my side cutters. I get a pretty good cut. Once you know what angle to do it on. But I guess if you're after a really clean cut every time, throw them in there. Only fits in the one, the other one's a little bit bigger, I think. That is super clean and really, really easy. I've got to tell you that. And you can do it with your, with your finger. And that is definitely super clean cut. So last but not least, we'll give them a bit of a twist. They look pretty close to some of the pairs of pliers I've had. 
but I think uh, most of them are a little bit wider, so it might take a little bit to get used to. But you know what I'm finding? So the edges here aren't rounded. So for someone that twists the way I do, I sort of drag my hands around it and that's actually sort of pulling apart my skin, I guess. If I do that long enough, I will lose skin. So that's a big downer, guys. That's a real big downer because they're quite nice. The weight of them is really good. Like you can, I just don't, I've never twisted like this. I know a lot of you guys do, that's fine, it is what it is. Real different, like, gets the job done. Very nice cut, <laughs> very nice. Like you can get it done, but for those that's like a quick flick, that's, that's not gonna do, not gonna do at all. So I figured I would quickly cut this as well. Once again, we've got a bit of 12 mil, man. Depends where you cut it. Like up there, really easy. Obviously that's the leverage point. Up there, a little bit harder, but yeah, really quite nice. What else you got? You put it in there to bend, but really I won't be utilizing that. But yeah, not bad guys. So what are your thoughts? They're actually very sharp, these ones as well. Um, I do like how sharp they are. I'm just hoping in the long run that they will stay sharp. Like these are actually better for cutting your uh, mains cables. This is 10 or 12 mil. I'd rather use these. I'm almost gonna be using these full time out in the field. Obviously I know if there's any chance of having live cables, I will not be using these because I like to use insulated tools. Um, that's definitely a big downer. If they came out with these fully insulated, 1000 volt VDE, man, they would have some mean cutters. So, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from more Australian Sparkies. Are you using the strippers? Uh, I think a lot of people call these the installation pliers. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on them and when you use them, if you're still running the normal combination pliers or linesman pliers, these are pretty heavy. I do not know where I'll utilize these. Maybe for catenary wire, but I don't really do too much cat wire. So it really comes down to what you're doing. But these ones are really good. I can't see myself using them full time, mainly because I can't twist. And that means I'll have to have two lots of pliers. But these, I think these are a winner. If only they were 1000 volt insulated, I think that would be an absolute beast of a tool. But at the moment, they're definitely good for certain works. They're super sharp, really light. Um, like, there you go, guys. Like, that was super easy. They're just like your cross cuts. So, it is, it is what it is. Let's see how it goes out in the field. And until next time, guys, stay addicted to tools.